App Harvest is building some of America's largest greenhouses. Folks need opportunity. We've got to have a robust economy where people can feel like they're a part of something, have purpose. One in 10 Americans eat enough fruits and vegetables. Controlled environment agriculture in America needs to be a part of platforms in DC. We need to talk about bringing food production home regionally. Most U.S. produce comes from the West and Mexico, traveling thousands of miles to get to our plates. There were four billion pounds of tomatoes that were imported from Mexico alone last year. So you're really paying for gasoline with a little bit of lettuce. Instead of five days from southwest of the U.S. or south of the border, we get that transportation down to a day drive. That'll reduce our diesel consumption by 80 to 90 percent. I was asking around, well, what could we do? And just kept getting pointed back to the Netherlands. Their country is really just leading the world on indoor agriculture. We could fit the entire country into eastern Kentucky, yet it has the second most agricultural exports in the world. What is common there, we're just trying to bring here. It's very interesting to see what's going on in, in Kentucky and your plans. And you have your challenges, we have our challenges, but we also have solutions and let's bring them together. We're combining conventional agricultural techniques with today's technology to grow non-GMO, chemical-free produce. It'll be one of the, if not the only system to run completely on recycled rainwater. So that 60 acre facility will collect the rainwater on top and it will put it in a retention pond where we then circulate the rainwater back into the grow facility. We're not putting agricultural runoff water down into the city sewers. The sensors and lighting allow us to grow with maximum efficiency. Now, when we came into contact with the Pop Harvest, they were looking for the best lighting solution. And we found that with a combination of LED lighting with HBS, we could achieve the best, uh, best situation. The glass facility allows us to layer on the technology on the inside, the software, the sensors to drive efficiency, but we can still capture the sunlight and have the artificial lighting on top of that. What we have uh, developed for App Harvest is this tracking and tracing system which tracks the labor and also all the information from your greenhouse, all the information of the packing line, it all comes together to see if you are spot on with your production. Before construction began, App Harvest partnered with schools and universities in eastern Kentucky to build an ag tech ecosystem. App Harvest has put a big emphasis on the education of the systems. One thing that's really great about the container farm is getting kids to learn about fruits and vegetables in a hands-on environment. It's really cool to come in here every day and see the progress that I've done. We get to seed plants and transplant them and grow them and it's really fun. As we work with SOAR to expand the container program across the state, it's great to have such a successful start here at Shelby Valley High School but it's good to see a company that's coming in and being aware of the impact that they'll have on every little piece of the community. So thanks, we appreciate it. Well. So we've met with all the universities in the region, Moorhead State University, Eastern Kentucky University, Berea College and University of Pikeville, the University of Kentucky. Everybody we talk to is very optimistic on not only what this can do for our state and region, but really what the industry can be for our country as a whole. So we'll have roughly 280 full-time employees uh, and, and about 100 folks working throughout the course of construction. Parallel to that, we will be building the service area. So when the greenhouse is finished, we also have all the equipment ready. We're out there right now with Walker Construction doing site preparation work. We have roughly 600 semi-trucks and materials that will be showing up to the site over the coming months. And when will you be up and running? Uh, back half of 2020. We will simultaneously be expanding beyond the Moorhead facility. We are already in the process of selecting our next sites. What's so unique about the App Harvest project is because everything is contained in the greenhouse. The water is reused, CO2 doesn't get out into the open air, it's contained in the greenhouse.
We're going to build farms from the ground up that we can all be proud of.